All right. Yes. What is up? Uh, today we are going to build a boat. We've been wanting to do this for a really long time, actually. I uh, thought it'd be really cool to have a boat that we can, you know. And fish and stuff, you know what I mean? So I've never built a boat. Uh, I've built a lot of things, but never a boat. You have never built anything, which is fine. So we're going to build. Yeah, we're going to build a boat. This is going to be awesome. It's going to It's going to be great. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm actually really excited. We have a design. Um, it's not exactly on paper. It's more just in my noggin. Yeah. Let's build a boat. <laughs> Let's go. We figured out our basic design for our boat. Put that one on the outside. It's gonna be about this size right here. So this will be the, the very back of the boat. It's uh, gonna be from the flat portion, about 34 inches high. And we had to cut these, everything is cut at a 15 degree angle. So a 15 degree angle, one of these on each side to kind of work as like brackets. So this one will be there and then this one on the other side. So it'll hold it together like a bracket, and then hopefully that works. It should work. <laughs> I hope so. All right, here we're cutting out the bracket portions from this piece of plywood I found in my garage. It was actually my, one of my workbenches, but didn't have any three-quarter inch ply sitting around, so it is what it is. But we made 25 of these in total, four for each rib, six ribs. That math didn't make any sense. That's fine. This is kind of how we're going to put these together here. So let's go ahead and move this out. There's going to be one on, on each side. Some very strong adhesive. Liquid nails. Yes. Because boats, I guess wooden boats are not even really held together at the end by the fasteners. I forgot to poke a hole in this. I guess they're mostly held together with the glue. And the fasteners are just there to temporarily... That's a lot of glue. That's what I've been reading. That like the fasteners just temporarily hold the whole thing together. And this, anything that comes over the edge here, I'll just end up routing it off later. I'm not too worried about it. Just route it. Okay, do we use the three inch screws? Are they gonna be? I think they just might fit. I think that's going well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see how, yeah, they definitely came through a little bit, but that's not that big a deal. And then on the other side, I'll just put a few of these. So. All right, that is... That is strong. Okay. I'm actually really surprised at how strong that is. Uh -huh. Liquid nails probably helped out a lot. Oh yeah, the glue is what's gonna hold that together. Okay, we got the first, uh, the first rib done here. Here, push in on that side. Dude, that's really strong. <laughs> okay, this is pretty decent. This is gonna be, I think, the back. I don't know about you, dude, I am, it is hot. Yeah. It is very, very hot. I'm just covered in sweat and sawdust and just, you know what, I... You got an idea? Yes. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through <laughs> Okay, so now that we're done with that, I think I got it. I had to cool off. Okay, so this will be 
And then uh, this will be like the back of the boat. <laughs> and then like I put like a one inch back on it, I think. Because we're going to definitely put a motor on this. But we got to make six more of these, I think, at different sizes. So, yeah. We got it. So we're putting like three inch screws through one side and then on the other side using these inch and a quarter screws. Everyone's saying with wooden boats, it's all the experts are saying that it's not the screws and the fasteners that actually hold a wood boat together. It's the glue that you use. It's starting to kind of look like a boat thing. It's, okay. It's coming together. All right, so these ones we actually made, these both the same size on this next one. We're actually gonna keep it the same height, but we're gonna make the width four inches, four inches less wide. Is that one? We're gonna decrease the width by four inches so we can start to get the bow that we want on here. This one will be, those are 56 inches wide at the base. And this is gonna be 50, this is 54 inches wide. Hopefully we're doing things right. Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. Okay, so I was actually making this smaller, but I should have started it two inches shorter at the end. So, cause it's supposed to be boat shaped and I'm making it not boat shaped, like a slice of pizza. I don't want it to be like a slice of pizza. So I'm gonna take this piece that's two inches shorter and trade it. Here, take this quarter. That's supposed to happen. Yep. Okay. I was just helping you take it off. It's all in the script. So now the back will be two inches, two inches, two inches less wide. How do you, is there a word that means less wide? Thinner, I guess. Okay, so two inches thinner in the back. So it'll actually go like a boat. All right, so uh, we got all the, what do I, want? I call them ribs, I don't know, to the whole boat here, front all the way to the back. It's gonna have a pretty square front. Now I think we're gonna attach this in here, I think we're gonna inlay it in the bottom of these, what, ribs, whatever I call them, I don't know. It's gonna be a boat, right? Yes. It's gonna be a boat, oh, it's yeah, gonna or... float. Maybe. Yeah, it might, or it might just fall apart. It's all gonna work. Okay, so we cut this out here with a jigsaw to fit this, because we're gonna inlay this in the bottom, and it actually fits really, really well. Okay, now we just have to do that Five. to the rest of these. Five more times. It took a long time to do. It's a perfect, okay. perfect fit then. It's rib cages coming together. Let's go! Is she? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I dropped my vape in my five gallon bucket of motor oil, which is perfectly fine. Here, take that. That sucks. <laughs> what do you mean? This is great. This is fantastic, Gordon. Hey, you won't have to replace the coil in your vape now. It's all oiled up for you. With motor oil. <laughs> yeah. Old, dirty motor oil. <laughs> All right, what we're doing here is laying some three quarter inch strapping along the rail of the boat. There's gonna be more of this later on. This is just to get the shape that we want. So we push down on the ribs to get the bow that we want and then attach the strapping using screws and wood glue. All right, it has been a long day. We are very, very hot and sweaty. It's like 100 degrees. This is what we have so far. It's starting to look like a boat. I would say so. Yeah. That about does it for day one. This is probably gonna take us five or probably even six uh, videos. But there you go. Look at that. Thank you for stopping by. 
Stick around for part two, three, four, five, and six is probably how long it's going to take. <laughs> so uh, make sure if you're not, uh, subscribe so you can get notified when we continue doing this dumb thing. And uh, maybe throw a like on the video. You got anything? I think that's it. All right, decent. Peace.